Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Curbside Pickup. Thanks for y'all being here. All right, so uh, we took a survey of all of you guys there on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook to see if we going to do this episode and... The vast majority of people Bruh, I think it voted was yes. 100%. It was, it was like 99%. It's crazy. That, all right, so let me give you a backstory. So Nate ain't from the hood. His neighborhood's got a pool over there. Pool, let tennis go. Tennis court. Hit me up if y'all trying know, to go swim, man. We ain't had no pool. We had to get wet in the front yard with the water hose. So that's what you do in the hood. Wow. We had to run through the fire hydrant and get wet in the fire hydrant. That's how we did it. So also in the hood, Sorry we got things y'all. called hood classics. Foods that we eat in the hood. Something right, that I know nothing about. That Nate knows nothing about. So Nate finna this. try all these hood classes. Not even all of them, but some of them. All right, so y'all stick around because guess what? It all starts right now. This looks pretty good. Right, you got the cocoa puffs, but here's the deal with the cocoa puffs. You don't get to eat it with milk. Matter of fact, we gonna start with that. You right. get to eat your cocoa puffs with water. We ain't even got no milk. You better put some water on that damn. Cereal with water that because whole, in the hood we never had no milk. Now I'm gonna tell you what we did have. We had powdered like a, milk. A bad concept. Man. Powdered milk. That's where you take powder and milk and you mix and you get milk. It's the most disgusting thing ever. It's got the water turning brown already. Ah, oh, look like Dookie water. Ugh. <laughs> Eat some more. Eat some more. What it tastes like, bro. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> this what you did, bro? What, bro? We didn't have my. We was poor. I guess the milk gives it more flavor because this yes. is real bland. Water adds no flavor to cereal. What you what you think of this? Uh, it's a no for the cereal. <laughs> cereal water. What does it taste like? Just cereal and water, right? I mean, I'm glad it's chocolate flavor. If it was like corn flakes, that'd be. Definitely disgusting. We didn't have Cocoa Puffs. That would be disgusting. Cocoa Puffs was the rich people cereal. Because there's no flavor, so I'm thinking like... We had generic cornflakes. It's hot the Cocoa Puffs with the water. So, if you ever ate cereal and water, let us know down in the comments. It's not good, but... Back in the hood, we would take plain potato chips, and Hold you up. take some ketchup. That's what the ketchup is for? That's what the ketchup is for. You squirt the ketchup in a bag like that. What the heck? That's yep. enough. A, a All right, so you squirt that like that. And then you roll it back up. Now who's eating this? And then you shake. Oh, my nephew, mom, my sister. This is all she used to eat. Bro, you gotta, you gotta try some of these all with me, bro. Eat. You gotta try some of these with me, man. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these with you. If you can see the inside of the bag, that's what it looks like right there. We did it so much, they actually have a ketchup flavor chip now. Like a certain chip company makes ketchup flavor chip. Not bad, but let me see. Let me see. It ain't good. Get the ketchup with the chip. Let me see. Let me try some more though. He likes it. It's better than the cereal. It tastes like when you eat a hot dog, but the hot dog is gone and all you got is ketchup left with the in the back end of the bun. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Next, this was one of my favorites. Nate, you might like this one because I'm gonna eat one myself. I'm gonna make me one with, right along with you. We'll see, we'll see. This right here. If you never heard in the hood, you never had two things the same. Y'all ain't never got two things that match. <laughs> Neither y'all got Kool-Aid, no sugar, peanut butter, no jelly, uh, ham, no burger. Damn. We finna eat a syrup sandwich, boy. I remember syrup sandwiches and syrup sandwiches. Whoa. A syrup freaking sandwich. You know what I'm talking about. Now, this is something I've definitely never had before. Yes, boy. It's the simplest sandwich ever. Australia, you got uh, sprinkles and butter. We got syrup. And bread. No, All that, you're doing. That, that's a national snack, though. Dude. It seriously just puts syrup. This is a national. Just like this. Damn. Boom. You take that. That's a lot too. You smash it. Matt, you see how you see the syrup? Boom. That's how you want it. Like that. You um, were too it. happy to try this. Yes, bro. This was like my favorite growing up. Like, bro, you the, got food. You look at the <laughs> syrup. You don't gotta be this happy about this, bro. We didn't have food when I was growing up. Take your syrup sandwich. My damn sandwich. <laughs> hey. Go ahead. <laughs> That's funny. You ain't got enough on there, but go ahead. On the white bread, too. On the white bread? Ah! Oh, it's so good. Is it really so good? It's so good. Y'all see my face. Look at it. You don't like it? I'm tasting a lot of bread, white bread. Make just bougie. 
This ain't you a savage, classy, bougie ratchet? I'm not none of that. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. It ain't bad, but it's like you see me finishing mine. Who the heck? Well, clearly him, but bro, I can't do this. When you have no money in the hood, you find ways to eat. Trash. All right, so Nate didn't like the syrup sandwich. It's something you just don't eat, bro. Go back to Gary, bro. <laughs> you don't belong here, bro. Shut up. I need something to drink. We got Kool-Aid, but we're not going with Kool-Aid yet. Why not? We're going with something. When we had Kool-Aid, and we ain't had nothing, we're going with sugar water. Give me sugar and water. Got Nate's bougie. Again, we didn't, water. we didn't have bottled water when Life I was coming water. up. We had tap water. Bro, y'all had bottled water back then. No, bro. we didn't. That was a thing. No, it wasn't. Bottled water was in glass bottles. It was Perrier or, or the other one, but that was rich people stuff. We didn't have that. Damn. So you take the water. Very, very simple recipe. Water, sugar. This diabetes, bro. And then you stir it up. So you gotta hit that sugar crunchy. Y'all hit that sugar crunchy? Oh my. Damn. <laughs> sugar water, baby! Now, this was not one of my favorites, but we Hold drank up. it. Y'all didn't have no lemon juice? Cause y'all could easily made money. lemonade, bro. Lemon juice costs money. Uh, I guess. Bro. You don't understand what poor is, Nate. Poor is poor when lemon you have juice nothing. Lemon juice costs like $2, probably, bro. Bruh. $2. We was poor. We had uh, government peanut butter. We had powdered eggs. Powdered milk. Powdered egg. Government cheese. Chug a lug, Nate. Chug a lug. You don't just sip it, you gotta drink it. Damn. Chug a lug, Nate. <laughs> but you put too much sugar in it or something, bro. Ah. No, there's no too much sugar in the hood. <laughs> That's too much sugar. I don't even know what I'm tasting. So now we finna take the Kool-Aid. Hey, Kool-Aid! Now, I'm going to mix it in this cup because we ain't got no big pitcher. Perfect, perfect. So, Kool-Aid. In, in the hood, you don't just make one pack of Kool-Aid. You got to mix it together. You got to mix the flavor. So, we got flavor. We got flavor. We got flavor. We got, we got flavor, mixed yo. berry. We got, we got strawberry kiwi. We got watermelon. You got flavors. Like we the plug, so let me show man. you how to open up the Kool-Aid. You got to shake it like that. You got to do that. Bam, just like that's how you do it. Now, we got to add more sugar. All right, bro. Okay. You trying to kill me, bro? Bruh. No, bro. I need more water. You... Oh no, you you can't dilute it. Man, you're trying to kill me. Bruh. Now. Like you know that's the way too much sugar in that little cup. In bro. the hood. I have a cup, not no pitcher. That's just one cup. You bro. use half a bag of sugar for a pitcher of Kool-Aid. Oh my god, bro. So we use uh, this much in the cup, so it's equivalent. I don't think so. You put way too much of everything in it. That's right. Bro, taste that <laughs> disgusting, bro. <laughs> Is that bad? Taste that, bro. Hold on, let me see. Taste that. That is disgusting, bro. Your Kool-Aid is butt. Oh, that's hood Kool-Aid. That tastes disgusting. That is hood Kool-Aid for real. Woo, that's a lot of sugar. I bet. Oh, I bet. I just took a DNA test, turns out. I've had diabetes for about 20 years. We're going to give a shout out to our entire Curbside Pickup family. Major shout out to y'all. Major shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all. And your. if you are newly subscribed, because we have some new subscribers, Always. that means Always got that you are officially, excuse me, a member of the Curbside family. Yes. Shout out to y'all. Hush, Chewy. My dog. And if you want to be a member of the Curbside family, you only have to do one simple thing. Hey, what they got to do, bro? Take it. Hit that subscribe button right there. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know y'all see it, man. And also hit the notification bell as well. So every time we drop a video for y'all, y'all will be ready to pipe up with the crew and just turn up, man. Yes. Appreciate y'all. Hey, on to this last thing. Fried bologna last but not least. sandwich. Yes. And not just any bologna. You got to have a bologna with the red rings on it. Like, that looks unhealthy, bro. You got the red ring right there. Red you got to ring. peel off the red ring, and then we gonna fry. You don't just put it on the sandwich. That's the red ring of you death, got, yeah. the red ring of you death. Got, yeah. Red ring of death. This is pissing me off. You got to fry it, okay? And once you fry it. So do you cook it with the red ring on you it? You peel off the red ring. Once you put that little red ring off, you slap that sucker in the skillet, right? 
And then now when you slap it in the skillet, it's gonna cook. And it's that new school bologna. So that new school bologna, it may not bubble up and pop oh, like normal. New school bologna. It's that new school bologna. It might not bubble up and pop. But you do it and then you flip it. Once some edges start curling up, then you flip that joker and you good to go. Take that bologna, slap it on some bread like that. Boom, you got your bologna like that. Then you can add some mustard, some mayo, some ketchup. Boom, right there, Nate. But since I was so broke, Have I'm just gonna it. add nothing. <laughs> no, for real, like if we had ketchup, we had a little bit of ketchup, you add water to it. You had a little bit of mustard, you add water to it. You had a little bit of milk, you had, water was the savior for everything. Bro, what is bologna? It's um, ground up meat made into a loaf. I don't think that's right. So what you think? Not good. <laughs> this is not good. I'd rather have some turkey, bro. <laughs> I need some turkey. Mind if I give the rest to your dog? No, nah, you, he can just give him the whole thing. He eat the bread and everything. Bread and no, hey. Just put it down to eat everything. Mm. Nate giving food away to the dog. Don't need it. You didn't like none of the hood stuff. Um, nope. Wow. I like Kool Aid regular. This is some. This like because you, can, he, you will die drinking that. Hey, thank God for milk. Whatever, man. Uh, what else? Turkey, um, regular ke regular chips without the ketchup. If you got any hood suggestions, don't they can do on part two. Yes, we'll be doing a part two of this since this is really what y'all would definitely want. Yes. Wanted. If y'all got a hood classic for us that uh, we didn't try today, hit us up, DM us, make sure that we get that so we can do that for y'all. Absolutely. We appreciate y'all watching time. this. Every time. We hope y'all enjoyed this. Definitely. Yes, yes. So look y'all on that note. We appreciate y'all. Yes, we do. And hey, y'all stay safe out there. Stay positive. Stay beautiful. And we up out this piece. Until next time, we'll see y'all pretty soon. God said peace.